Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are tuning in. My name is Gary Wanaina, Ndani am Kenya Marekani, and uh, welcome so much. Uh, we are a platform where we bring you news relating to Kenyans here in America. And today we have some sad news of a legendary, a hero who fell while in his line of duty, Mr. Uh, Sule Kangangi. So uh, follow me and uh, for more of such stories uh, of Kenyans here in America, follow me so that uh, we can move together and remember to subscribe so that you can support us. Yes, now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are talking about uh, one of the most popular uh, cyclists who passed on in uh, Vermont, and uh, he does gravel racing, you know. So, and uh, I just noticed uh, he has been uh, on almost all the big platform uh, news. Uh, everybody is talking about, uh, I've seen here at the NBC News, uh, Kenyan cyclist Sule Kangangi dies in a crash during gravel race in Vermont. And then the uh, BR, which is the Bleacher Report, all these are big platforms uh, saying that Kenyan cyclist Sule Kangangi dies at the age of 33 after a crash during the ra during a race. And then uh, we have uh, Velo News. We have all these type of uh, platforms, NBC News. Uh, we have the TMZ. And... Uh, we have uh, the Guardian, the Kenyan cyclist Sule Kangangi killed in a crash at Vermont. Uh, we have the, that's the uh, Bleacher Report. We have uh, Eurosports. So all these black, big platforms, they eulogized uh, our hero, uh, Suleiman Kangang, Kangang, Kangangi, uh, who died after a high-speed crash in the United States. So, and then uh, he was a team captain of uh, Amani. Yeah, that team Amani captain, Sule Kangangi, dies in a crash. So, uh, one of the news that I want to bring you is uh, the Washington Post. That's what I want to share and read a little bit so that you may be able to see uh, what we are talking about. Yeah, so let me pull, let me pull uh, the Washington Post. Washington Post so that we may read and also I will bring up later in this uh, video I'll bring up where you can support him through uh, uh, your fans because as Kenyans here in America we have to support one another so yeah I I found it here yeah so these are some of his pictures as you can see, he was quite determined, you know, he is a hero, we have to honor him, you know. Yeah, that's him doing his race. So this is in, uh, I'm referring to Washington Post, okay. So the Associated Press, uh, in, the in, this, in this photo provided by Joseph Viga, Kenyan cyclist Sule Kangangi dies at a gravel race in uh, Vermont on Saturday, August 27, 2022. Kangangi died in a, uh, in a crash later in the day while competing in the race. So uh, Kenyan cyclist Sule Kangangi died in a crash Saturday while competing in a gravel race in Vermont. Kangani was riding at a high speed in the Vermont Overland race when he crashed. Sule is our, cap, up, our captain, friend, brother. He is also a father, a husband, and a son. Gapping holes are left when giants fall. Sule was a giant. His team, Amani, posted on social media. Instead, instead of leading us from the front of the park, he will now lead us as our guiding pole star as we press forward in the realization of our dreams. And also uh, Rachel Ruto, who is uh, now the president, uh, uh, the wife of the president elect. So she's gonna become a first lady if all goes on their, on their side well. Um, the wife of the president elect, Ruto of Kenya, posted on Twitter, and I'll show you this tweet uh, that 
She was shocked to learn the sad news that he had passed away after a tragic crash. Yeah, my heartfelt condolences to his family and the entire cycling community that has lost a talented cyclist, a mentor, and a friend, she wrote. We will all miss him as an individual. Kenya has lost a champion. Rest in peace, Sule. Yeah, that, that is the name he used to go by. So the Vermont Overland is a 59 mile, which is 95 kilometers dirt road bicycle race that includes nearly 7,000 feet, uh, which is converted to 2,130 meters of climbing according to the race website. About 900 cyclists were competing on Saturday in the race that begins and ends in the community of Brownsville in the town of West Windsor, official said. Vermont Overland is a heartbroken by the tragic death of Suleim Suleiman Sule Kangani during the Overland yesterday. Ansel Diki, owner of Vermont Overland, Overland, said in a statement on Sunday, he was a kind friend and inspiring and heroic athlete to his teammates and the gravel cycling community at large. We extend our deepest sympathies to his family and friends. Okay. So I'm going to also show you the tweet of uh, our vice, uh, I mean, our president elect, first lady. Um, Yeah, so Mama Rachel Ruto, Ruto, sorry, Mama Rachel Ruto, EGH. Yeah, it is with shock that I have received the sad news that Sule Kangangi passed away after a tragic crash in the United States. My heartfelt, my heartfelt condolences to the family, and this and the entire cycling community that has lost a talented cyclist, a mentor, and a friend. So you can see these are pictures of of Rachel, Mama Rachel with uh, Sule. Yeah, Mama Rachel also is a cyclist and I've seen her. She has passion with uh, cy cycling, you know. When when the shadow you are by Skelly, yeah. So I'm gonna now share, last but not least, I will share how you can all support uh, Buona Sule. Um, let's see, where is this? Yeah, I'm sorry for this delay, but uh, now I got it. Yeah, so this is how you can support Bonasule, I will share his fundraiser page, which is GoFundMe. Yeah, so that's where you can go support him. Yeah, when you just Google on uh, GoFundMe, Sule Kangangi Memorial Fund, that's the page you'll find him. Yeah, and I love how people have already supported him. Yeah, so you can go ahead and just whatever. God leads, yeah. And uh, this is what the post says on uh, his GoFundMe page. On the occasion of this untimely and tragic passing, the friends of Sule Kangangi have created a memorial fund solely dedicated to supporting Sule's wife and children. Sule Kangangi was not only the captain of Team Amani, but also a leader in African cycling. His dream of becoming East Africa cycling uh, to the world was becoming a concrete real reality uh, these last few weeks as he had the opportunity to race in the U.S. for the first time Landville 100 CBT, GRVL, Gravel Worlds and Vermont uh, Overland. After the final race of this inauguration U.S. visit, when the team should have been celebrating John Karaoke's win and Jordan uh, Schleck's third place, we find ourselves in mourning, grappling with the huge loss of a great cyclist and tremendous human being. Please give generously to support Sule's family as they grieve 
and bear the short and long-term cost of losing a dear husband and father. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before I end, I just want us to do a one minute of silence for a fallen hero that Kenya will remember. So together with me, let's give this hero a moment of silence. Thank you very much from our table. We have to say goodbye for now, but uh, keep it here for more news and hopefully we'll be bringing a lot of celebra celebratory news, more than sad news. But we respect our hero and we salute our hero. Thank you very much for watching. I am Gary Wenena reporting from Kenya Marikani uh, from Washington State. God bless you. Remember to subscribe.